Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to create keyboard switch groups inside the Phantom and assign them to our scene. All right, let's get started. So what a keyboard switch group is, it has the ability to use the pads and switch my zones, either single zones or multiple zones simultaneously, depending on what particular pad I have them assigned to. So if you're a gigging musician and you have to change sounds often, this is definitely something you need to know. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with just any scene here, and I'm gonna begin by pressing single tone. All right, so what I wanna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and choose a bunch of sounds that I would probably use in a live gigging situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, all right, for zone one, I might go ahead and leave it on a piano. For zone two, I might say, you know what, let's go ahead and use a phaser. Okay, great. Great. For zone three, I might say let's use an organ and I might want to use that VK organ one. Great. For zone four, I might want to go ahead and use some kind of keys, uh, maybe a clav. And I'll go ahead and choose this phaser clav. For zone number five, I might want to go ahead and use a brass section of some sort, and I'll go ahead and use this trumpet sax section. All right, so I have those right there, and I went ahead and chose uh, zones one through five. So here's zone one, zone two, three, four, and five. Now for six, uh, let's go ahead and choose some type of string. So I'll come into here. And right now I'm not very being very picky on the particular sounds. I just want you guys to see what I'm talking about because this keyboard switch group, if you're a gigging musician, it is definitely something you need to learn about. So I'm gonna pick a string right here. That sounds good. And on number seven, I am gonna choose a couple of synth sounds. Maybe I might go ahead and choose a, uh, maybe a classic, uh, let's use a warm lead. That's fine, okay, just a warm lead. All right, now that I have those set, what I would do is go ahead and press the right button and I would save them to a particular scene. And I'm gonna call this, rename it, I'm gonna clear all, and I'm gonna call it my gig sounds. So I'll go ahead and press the shift button and hit gig and sounds. and okay, and then I'm gonna choose a particular place to put it. So I'll go ahead and press the enter button and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in D, the D section. All right, so that's just for me for this video. I'll go ahead and put it in the D section and let's go ahead and put it in uh, D30 and okay. Okay, so I just chose those sounds. Now let's choose a couple of sounds that I might call my supplemental sounds that I might use to enhance the first set of sounds. Because remember, in each scene, I have 16 zones available and I only chose, I believe it was up seven. All right, so let's go to nine through 16. So in number nine, there we go. I might go ahead and say, let's go to uh, take a look at my zone view. There we go. And number nine, there it is. I might choose a, maybe a choir type of sound or probably a pad, uh, there we go. And that's fine, I'll choose that one. In zone 10, I might leave it as drums, you never know. In zone number three, I'm gonna use another string sound, but I might use one uh, to kind of, as a support for my EP or my piano. bring it down in the mix great okay and I think I think that's good for now once again I'm gonna write and save that scene again good all right now let's turn on the keyboard switch group for that particular uh, scene which I titled gig sounds okay so I'm gonna go to my pad mode here press the pad mode button and you see it's number seven keyboard switch group now, one thing to mention, the keyboard switch group will save to the scene once I write it now. So press the write button, press scene, okay, okay. 
Now you see me saving a lot, which is something I always recommend when we're creating uh, custom layers and splits within any kind of scene. That's just a good practice to get into because you might get distracted and you might mess up your entire scene that you've been working on. So, all right, now I have particular tones in my zones and I have the keyboard switch group. Now let's go ahead and start editing. All right, so if I were to go ahead and press my keyboard switch group, which that's what the pad mode is currently in, Watch what happens over here. I press number one, look what happened. It changed to zone one. Here's number two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I remember I did one in nine, 11. It just switches everything for me. This is a really cool thing. Now let's see what happens. So if I go ahead and play, there's my piano, electric piano. So it's changing sounds for me. That by itself is something really cool that you could totally take uh, advantage of but let's go one step further if i press and hold the shift button and hit pad mode because it's in the keyboard switch group now i can actually see the keyboard switch groups on the screen once they're on the screen i can select one and say all right let's edit that i can choose which particular switches the tone zone switches come on so on these i might go ahead and leave those the same but I might have it so that way when I press zone nine, and remember zone nine is my pad, I might say, okay, I want you to kick on piano and bed. Great. I'll go ahead and exit that one. Now I'll go to zone 10 and I'll press edit. And it's currently on drums, but I might say, I don't want drums on. I want to go ahead and have electric piano and this, the pads on there. Great. Let's go to 11. And on this one, I might do something similar. Edit. I might have piano, pad, and strings. There we go. And I might go ahead from here and let's go ahead and adjust those particular secondary zones being uh, zone 9 and 11, which are my pad and my string. And let's save those to the scene. So I have that. Now let's do the same thing on number 11. I'll exit there. And let's go ahead and have uh, number 11, which is already set. There's just a piano there. Let's edit. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to have that trigger uh, turn on zone number two, which is EP, zone number nine, which is the pad, and zone number 11, which is the strings, and that quickly. So as you can see, I can have the zones turn on and off individual sounds, and I can also have it turn on combination of sounds, like in this example, where on number 10, we have it turning on the electric piano and the pads, or maybe an 11 where we have it turning on piano, strings, and pad. Or number 12, which was electric piano, strings, and pad. Now, all I have to do to save this is press the right button, and now the scene, press the enter button, and OK. So I hope that you can see the benefit of the keyboard switch groups for live gigs. So you can go ahead and create your scene with a lot of your meat and potato sounds and have them in there. And you can have the keyboard switch groups change individual sounds or combinations of sounds very quickly using the pads. All right, give this a try. I hope this helps you out. You guys take care and we'll talk to you later.